this set has four thousand and two pieces and it's still eight pieces. Right so first, let's look at the exterior of the unit. Then we will look at the interior, and then finally at the unit. So let's start. So first, you can see the small pavement and the square area of this whole pavement. We can see two light posts over here and small pieces, three pieces, uh, which are used to create the drains on the pavement. It is a very populated area. We have, can see this mosaic on the road, which has been used with in which darkish sand and darkish navy blue color has been used to create the design. Also over here, the same design has been used. We can see this is the cafe, small cafe area, which is the cafe shop. Now, like in every Lego city, we can see these banners over here. And the small light and this small sitting area, one with the chihuahua and the doctor. You can also see the same thing over here. You can see two small potted plants on both sides and this door, black door over here. I accidentally broke this, so and now, now the photo you are seeing is the photo of what is over there. So we can see that this building has two more floors. You can see that both of these. The two floors are using the same type of architectural design. You can see that both there's a window in the middle which has uh, a very nice way of building it. They have used the new type of pieces and put it at the side of the windows to make a design, which is a very nice idea. You can also see these two things, these two small pillar-like things, uh, which are of a sandish color blue. Which is also very nice. This building can be detached, and they are using these circular pieces over here, which is a very nice technique of showing the how they have uh, focused on every single detail of the building. This is also the same. And one problem with this thing is that this top window does not have any window inside it, so the piece can go inside uh, your hand or something else can go inside it. That is a big flaw, and I want Lego to fix it. You can also see two curved areas. You can see the smaller curved area with some flowers on the first floor, and we can see the small balcony on the second floor, which also has a door from inside, which I'll show you later. You can see this beautiful design they have created using the arc pieces, as well as the shield piece they have used. Create a design which is from the Lexo Knight. You can see this small alley with a door, white color door, which leads to the stairs to the upper levels. You can see the detail of how they have put so many flowers, like it's overgrowing over there. Now let's look at the second building. So we can see the fountain over here first. They are using the ball drawn piece above, and they are using these plate kind of pieces to. They have also used the Nexonite shields to create the corners and designs, which is a very nice idea. Now let's look at the building. We can see over here a glass door with two of its sides covered with a beautiful kind of a pillar. We can see as it's a flower shop, they have used a flower to create the handle. There's two small sheds which have used darkish pink as well as light purple color. To make the shed, we can see a small type of marigolds as well as some purple flower. While on the other side, there's a broom as well as shovel. We can also see how they have created two roses to create the sign of the shop, which is very nice. Below the roses, if you can see, there are two transparent green color pieces which allow you to have a look inside the area. We can also see how they've used the curved arc pieces on both sides to. Add some light inside the area, and two of these pieces to create some kind of design. Oh, this this is the uh, photo uh, Photoshop. You can see flowers, a rose, a marigold on both sides, as well as a small balcony. No one can see it, but it's still kind of a balcony. The upper windows are white in color, while the below windows are transparent. And on both sides, there's sand blue color used. 
about them they have used how much to create designs on all of the sites which is a very very nice technique and above them they have used the claws from the lego city construction sets and black in color and they have used this to create a beautiful architectural design now let's look at the third building so this is the third building this building is consisted of three main floors the first ground floor is has a small bakery second floor has a dentist shop while on the third floor there is a small apartment so first let's look at the bakery so for the windows of the bakery they have used the transparent and clear garage door pieces they have electric pieces on both the sides to create the lights i really like this navy blue design they have done using the curved pieces as well we can see that the sign of the shop or the logo is actually a pretzel on this side we can see the same design but inside there are some uh, there are some very nice cookies of cream the cake inside and while on this side there is a very big bedding you can also see this corner door with a darkish red color handle it's a very nice thing they have used the curved pieces as well as the corner door piece to create this it's very nice they also have used the boom piece over here then we can see over here how they have created such a nice design these dark red pieces are used to create the small sheds for these windows which is very nice they have also used this one by two pieces to dark light brown pieces to create some kind of design while on this side they have used these light brown color cookie color or cookie color uh, cheese snow pieces to create this design which is also very nice while on this side there are some bigger windows and some small windows while if you can see this clearly it is written prevent yellowing a dentist with a teeth this is an exclusive piece and it can only be found in this set now at the top we can see this blue color pillar that they have created with this white color design which is kind of a roman or a french design there is a chicken at the top which i do not know why there is nothing here but they have also used the same technique which they have used here over here so that is the exterior of the building now let's look at the back so this is the back of the building we will first see this area this is the corner of the third building we can see that third floor is in peach color this is also in peach color while this is in gray color we can see that white doors as well as white doors on all the sides of the stairs as well as the small white window these stairs are beautifully created they, they can be used to go up as well they are open so that you can pose your mini figures very clearly down here we can see a small dustbin which has some bits and pieces well this small lever i will show you the function of this lever then we will see the ground floor you can also be see the small light now this building is most comprised of lighter gray as well as sand green color there is a big window over here as well as some transparent green pieces over here while well, i do not understand why they have allowed us to put some gray pieces over here they are very different now let's look at this area this is the small cook uh, kitchen of the third floor apartment you can see these two chairs and small table with a newspaper on the side a small balcony type of place you can see some stairs to go to this roof as well as this small dead plant cup a small saucepan as well as a sweet big cooker as well as a barbecue as well as a hand over here this is beautifully carved and it is one of the best parts of the building now let's look over here this building is mostly comprised of a sandish blue color as well as a white color we can see this glass area which is behind the cafeteria we can also see this small door from which we can enter the cafeteria as well as this small alley to go over here we can also see the exit of the flower shop as well as some light as well as they have beautifully detailed this they have put some kind of wheat which is growing on the side of the building a very nice design now let's look at the interior of these buildings so now let's look at the interior of this building 
first we will look at the ground floor we can see that this is a small cafeteria we can see there is a small carpet over here which is being used with light blue color dark blue color as well as some dark sand color we can see the small counter with some pie strawberry pie and some uh, and the small cash counter with the lady see a small very nice bit of a coffee machine as well as some drawers you can also see empty as well as this small sitting area with some pie as well as a lamp and some lamp on the side as well this small coffee table with a flower as well as lamp on the side you can also see a staircase over here which which you can enter from the alley and it is a very nice and compact building Now let's look at the second floor. So this is the second floor of this building. We can see this is a small music store. We can see the small cash counter with the owner. Above the wall, we can see uh, electric guitar as well as the old style guitars. We can see a very nice bit of a drum set. Two of these yellow uh, things as well as these drums and one big small big big drum in the middle. We can also see the saxophone over here. Which is portrayed and put in a very nice style. Now let's look at the third floor. So on the third floor, you can see there's a small dance class area. You can see this very big and nice bit of grand piano with this small uh, seat as well as some small steps below it. On the side of the wall, we can see a glass mirror. It is first view in the pet shop of the detective office office set of the modular building. We can also see the ballerina dancing. On the side over here, we can see the small balcony. The ballerina can obviously stand over here and overlook the whole assembly square. Now let's look at the middle building. So first, we will look at the ground floor. So these buildings are joined. We can remove them like this. Inside them, we can see the bakery. We can see the chef, as well as this small counter. We can see some biscuits, as well as small biscuit on the cashier, along with the cashier. We can also see this small stand with different types of croissants, pies, cookies, etc. We can also see some more cookies on this side, as well as the wedding cake over here with the uh, groom and the bride. Also see the small staircase as well as the store which leads to the above above floors. You can also see the small the small clock. So I was telling you what the level. I will show you the function of the level later. So we can see this oven. If we push the level, we can see that the cookie inside the oven come out when we push the level. It's a very very nice function. We can also see. There's a small alley which also leads to the flower shop. Inside the flower shop, it is run by an old woman. We can see there's a small counter with some plants inside a glass thing. We also see four different types of flowers: a blue as well as yellow color parrot on the front side, and some uh, very big group of roses as well as some small flowers on the corner. The floor is decorated bright and peach pieces. Now. Let's look at the second floor of the building. So this is the second floor. We can see the dentist office over here. We can see the small counter over here with a small flower, as well as a cashier, as well as a small Lego and single piece of the Lego news over here, as a also print as a magazine. You can also see the small clock as well as this chair, which looks very symmetrical uh, with the both doors. Now let's look at this side. We can see a small uh, painting of the ship with a moon. We can also see this dentist's chair and everything. You can see that this can move. The light can also move as well as the chair can bend up and down. You can see this small seat as some cabinets and some drawers. On this side, we have this small uh, photographing area for, for photos. Mostly, there's a door which you can use to enter. There's a big old type of camera. I will show you this clearly. This looks like this. We have a light thing, 
as well as a the stamp right in the middle it can easily fix between these hinge pieces over here which is a very nice technique you can they have used the cup as well as the piece the right piece over here to create some kind of paper on which a person can stand and take the photos you can see it's small draw with some powders or some makeup as well as this painting you might have seen this this painting can only come in one more set which is the uh, brick bank set which is the earlier modular building for this next now let's look at the next floor this is the third floor of the building i will not show you this side as i have already shown you and showed it to you while showing the back so first let's look at it we can see here this small lego layout over here we can see this small railway line miniature stripe a tree a mountain with a, a tunnel inside it a small lake and many trees on all the sides you can see this small kitchen with a fridge a sink a stove as well as some shelves as well we can see this small lego piece on the floor which is of the lego hotel piece which is an exclusive piece for this uh, we can also see some great expert sets like the mini fan the car etc as well as some pieces like those over here like the uh, passion cafe the practice office the pet shop etc as well you can see this small convertible sofa over here in the corner we have this small bathroom it's only very small and it has only one toilet and some toilet paper on the side in the corner of the building we have this small model of the eiffel tower and it's a very nice model and i really like it so now let's look at the roof so first let's look at this roof we can see this is the roof of the ballerinas area we can see the ballerinas also standing there this is covered by this small shed area so that someone does not fall we also have used they've also used the glass pieces so that some light goes inside the area and you can see the ballerina at this side we can see the small hatch which allows you to enter the roof and you can close it like this like all this now let's look at this roof this roof is quite simple it does not have anything you can make people sit like this i thought it was just for this so that you can watch the stars in the sky during the night as well there's a stairs to get over here now let's look at the feet some features of this set which actually make it modular some modular features of the set are one with this bit as well some with this bit so first you can take out this whole part of the building and then put this on the down this is some some kind of building you can make while with that building what you can do is that you can interchange them like if you want Just take the roof and put it over here like this. Like these are not suggested by Lego, but you can do that by yourself. Also, some features which are suggested by Lego are like the small walls of all the modular buildings or on all the modular buildings. These are used to connect to the other buildings. For example, this building over here will connect to the brick bank set. Well, this building can connect to the timer set, but it is your choice which building you want to connect to. It. Now, let's look at the mini figures. We have is this lady. This lady works uh, is lives at the apartment at the top of the uh, building. We have, she is wearing a light blue color jacket with a purple color shirt with a star on it, and she is wearing lightish darkish gray green color pants. She is a normal modular build smile. With the hair, and there's nothing very special on the back. So, let's look at the second figure. The second figure is the ballerina. She's wearing a red pink color suit with some butterflies on it. This uh, this skirt, I do not know what the name is. We also have the Lego modular smile as well as the pom pom on the hair. 
there is nothing special on the bank. So let's look at the next figure. Next figure is the baker. The baker is wearing a white sweater with a red baking tie. He is wearing grey pants, modular spiral and as well as he is wearing a chef hat. Now let's look at the next figure which is the music shop owner. He is having a beautiful brown color pearls with some red color t-shirt as well as some black paper. Nothing special on the bank. So let's move on. We also have this person who is a photographer. He takes the photos. He has this good moustache as well as the French cap. He is wearing grey uh, grey jacket as well as a maroon color sweater inside it. He is also wearing light blue. We also then have the coffee shop owner. She is wearing an apron with a coffee mug on it with some coffee coming out, uh, hot coffee coming out. She is wearing a brown apron which comes till the pants as well. She is wearing light green, light blue color pants. She also has some weird type of hair. The next mini figure we have is the flash of owner. She is wearing a pink color jacket with a light grey color shirt inside. She also has a necklace if you can see clearly as well as the normal modular piece and grey color hair. She is also wearing pink pants. The final mini figure we have is this, the dentist. The dentist is wearing white color gloves. He has a white jacket with some dentist tools inside and the sign of the dentist shop also. He is also wearing brown color pants and he has modular modular face as well as this weird color hair. I really like this color of hair and I appreciate the work they have done on this dentist. And the final uh, mini figure we have is the baby. This is the normal baby which you can find in any other set. He is wearing the white color outfit with the yellow hands as well as the small yellow head. Now let's look at the animals. Animals are the small baby chihuahua. You can also find the chihuahua in other Lego sets as well as this beautiful Lego maca. It has some blue, green, yellow color shades. I hope you like my video. Please like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon.